I just finished yoga. It was very windy today, which was nice though, because honestly, like several times in my meditation, I was just having many Rosa de Guadalupe moments. I was like meditating and then the air just came and I was like, and the instructor, bravo, she's amazing. And honestly, today, me and Vero basically had a little private session because it was just four of us and it was nice. But anyways, today I decided to do a bunch of little things that fuel my soul and make me happy. So we started off with coming to yoga. That's something new for me and I've just, I've been loving it so much. And then right now at 10.05, I have an eyebrow appointment. I'm gonna go get my eyebrows done. But I also have to find a bathroom because I have to pee and I don't know if they have a bathroom there. And then after that, I'm gonna go try this new little cute out outdoorsy coffee shop and then i gotta go to target to pick some stuff up and yeah it's just gonna be a, a day full of stuff that makes me happy while we're on the topic of that i do want to talk a little bit about how all of these things that i've been doing that i've been sharing with you guys and you know trying to better myself mentally and physically and how it's just sort of impacted me for a long time i was just in a very emotionally bad place and also it, it was just kind of a lot of me feeling lost in a sense and i guess getting irritated with everything else that was going on so as you guys know i had a job at the beginning of this year that i got which was a work from home job and at first i was really excited to do it more so i feel like i kind of lied myself into thinking i was excited for it because i obviously i mean who doesn't like getting money you know but at the end of the day like regardless if you're getting money or not if you're not happy then that money is just going to be useless and you're only going to be hurting yourself mentally and so i kind of started realizing it after a while when you know every time i would clock off of work i was just very upset very sad and i didn't really take time to like think about it i just kind of like brushed it off and i was like oh you know whatever i i don't know what it is I, i'm just probably tired if you guys saw this video right here this is the one where i originally quit my first job and i was there for about four Four years i was going there but i wasn't happy i was just in a bad state the entire time i started like binging again and it was just really bad so finally like i gained the courage to quit that job and you know for a, like a couple of months i was living my best life i was in my zone i was creating youtube videos that was like my top priority and that's what i always wanted to do and so i was i was good i was happy but then came a time where i was like okay you know what i should probably get a job because this isn't cutting it like it's i'm not making enough money i had money still but like i was kind of starting to run out so i was like okay i need money again so i went and i did that new job which was the work from home job i was helping a customer and it just brought back all of the same emotions and reasons why my last job was so emotionally draining and i broke down on the call the customer wasn't even mean or anything like i literally just broke down because i just transported back to a time when i was at my lowest and i was like i i can't do this like as much as i want to get money i can't put myself through this again i really shouldn't be vlogging but i was trying to do my job and i just got really overwhelmed <sighs> customer service is not for me look at their addictions i cried twice on two calls <sighs> That was like my most vulnerable state, but also the strongest I've ever been. I was so proud of myself for not putting myself through that again because I tend to be the type of person to stick through with something only because I feel like I owe people things. I can't say no. And, you know, I could have easily stayed in that position for probably another four years and just been miserable. So I'm proud of myself for not staying there. I feel like the right things will come when they come, but... I don't know, I'll just take it day by day and at the moment I'm not trying to live in the future because that was another thing that was just really eating away at me is that I always lived in the future, I was never present. So just kind of switching my mindset to being present and thinking about the now and not thinking about the future, not thinking about the lack of money, not thinking about the lack of anything and just being grateful for what I have has really just helped me to heal. I just want to spread that message to other people, you know, that... A lot of like our irritabilities, a lot of our doubts, a lot of our anger that is like within ourselves or that we project onto other people. It's not really us. It's a lot of like built up internalized emotions and feelings and things that we've just pushed to the back. We've never actually acknowledged. So just acknowledging what you're going through, taking the time to just listen to yourself can really help you to start your own healing journey.
just got out of getting my eyebrows done i swear every time i come to get them done i'm like oh they're not gonna have to do a lot and then they just keep going and i'm like whoa what are you doing like are you taking out too much but then i always look at them and they always turn out nice so yeah now they look clean i feel clean i don't know why but just having clean eyebrows makes me feel wonderful but getting them done like honestly it's not painful but the one thing that always happens to me whenever i come and get my eyebrows threaded my left foot always feels anxious doesn't matter which eyebrow she's doing and i have to like stretch it out and like be doing like weird things with it because it gets so like stressed but now that i'm out i'm actually kind of hungry so i'm gonna go to the little cafe i was telling you guys about I feel a little uncomfortable being by myself and talking to the camera, but you know what? Who okay. cares? I don't. Oh my god, I never want this to end. This is called a changuito. It has almond butter, banana, strawberries, and sugar, and I think honey. This is the cafecito mocha. <laughs> Everything was amazing. Like, I am not even exaggerating. It's the food was delicious, the interior design, the customer service. Like, the line was taking a while. But the thing is that, like, they literally establish a connection with each and every customer, which is like the best part about locally owned restaurants is that you have that, like, one on one connection with the workers. It's not just like order, get your food, that's it. I didn't get it on camera, but the guy literally came out with a flamethrower and he used it to caramelize the sugar on top of my toast. Oh. That toast, I think that's the best restaurant experience I've ever had. The, the coffee was absolutely delicious. I finished it. Normally, I don't finish coffee when I go places. I, I had to finish that one. I was like torn between reading or watching the view because literally it was so beautiful and it's such a nice day out. But I actually ran in to an old uh, classmate of mine. Hi, Clarissa, if you're watching. And I had to recommend her the El Changuito because it was so good. It was so good it tastes like a churro it's with strawberries oh my gosh and it's so cool to see things like that in such small cities because for so long we didn't have cool things i'm like that's that's one of the coolest things that's ever happened to this town okay so we just got to target and miss jayla i just saw your comment and i wanted to talk about it because it ties in with what i was talking about earlier today so she says hey girly i was just wondering if you could talk about gym anxiety or social anxiety when you are trying new things by yourself i want to get out there and do stuff but ah i get so nervous and bill you keep me going well first of all thank you so much i love that you guys say that i motivate you or inspire you that makes me so happy because i've worked so hard to heal myself and if i can pass that on to other people that just makes me feel so full so with gym anxiety and social anxiety in general the thing is you're never really gonna not have the anxiety i feel like anxiety is just going to be a part of us forever but the first step in being able to go out and do things on your own is accepting the fact that anxiety is a part of you but you're not letting it control you. So for example, I went to go eat at that cafe by myself. Was I nervous? Yes. Was I worried, you know, other people were looking at me and staring? Yes. But I didn't let that stop me. And when I was sitting there and just enjoying my food, I was just like in my own little world. And I even like looked up and everyone was in their own little world. We think they care, but they really don't care they're not paying attention to you especially like at the gym everyone's focused on themselves and you know trying to better themselves at the gym so they're not going to be paying attention to you to see what sort of things you're doing my biggest piece of advice is just do it just do it because i didn't overcome it until i just did it honestly like learning to do things on my own was a huge part of my healing process because i learned to be comfortable with my own presence and in my own presence i was able to figure out what was bothering me what i was missing in my life what i needed and because of that i was able to move forward and take the necessary steps to start healing myself Okay, I have one more tip and this goes right along with my whole faking it till you make it theory. These people 
You don't know them, they don't know you. You can pretend to be the baddest bitch in the store, hold your head up high, walk in there like you're confident, even though you're not, even though you're scared. Walk in there, pretend to be confident, they won't even blink twice. I'm gonna do a quick haul for you guys. So I just got this popcorn that I'm obsessed with. I love it. It's the Good Together Organic Olive Oil and Himalayan Salt Popcorn. I think I've talked about it before on my channel, but I'm not, not sure. Also, got some pads because I ran out and you know your girl started wanted to pick up a notebook so i can use it to write down ideas and stuff here's my thing i have a problem with notebooks i tend to overbuy notebooks and not use them but i promise i will use this one i want to use it because i want to have a place where i can keep all of my youtube ideas and just kind of have them all in one place so i got this one here it just has a couple of different little sections this one says like to do this one says notes this is just blank and then this one's like a dotted line thing so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and use this for all of that plus i wanted one with a spiral i also got this but my soap kind of started spilling and it was my fault so i just kind of put it in this bag but i also got a replacement for my toothbrush and then i got my body soap which is spilling all over the place the native coconut and vanilla it smells so good i'm obsessed anyways my camera's dying i gotta go home i'll talk to you guys later guys i have been having a wonderful day like honestly i won't stop talking about it you can ask brenda i'm pretty sure she's annoyed of me like going back and forth and telling her how great my day has been but honestly like it's just been so wonderful like the places i went to the people i've interacted with today the weather itself there's so much to be grateful for anyways i am about to start working out i'm actually very excited guys when i tell you that i've just been in my zone with working out and it just feels so good because for so long i just wasn't clicking with it and i was so distracted when i was working out but now as i'm learning to be more present in every situation that i am in it's helping me to be able able to focus solely on my workouts and not be working out but thinking about other things and not making sure that my muscles are engaged and then at the end of it I'm like did I just work out like what was I doing right there because I honestly I wasn't here but now like I'm here and I'm present and I'm just like flowing with life and it just feels so good I hadn't felt this way for so long like I was literally in such a rut I was feeling so sad about everything I was so easily irritated by everything but now like life is good and I'm learning to be grateful for everything that I have and not always thinking about the things that I'm lacking in and just like that shift in my mindset has helped me become so much more happy and you know it, it all ties in you know working on my relationship with food eating better foods that actually fuel my body and give me energy working on my gut health honestly a lot of people ignore their gut health but gut health has a lot to do with all of those things like irritability not being able to sleep and all of that so maybe maybe kind of focus on your gut health if you're having some issues also just like working out going on my walks now doing yoga going outside working on myself and putting my phone away because honestly like at the end of the day do you want to be up to date with all of the trends or do you want to be making progress on your life that's a question we all have to ask ourselves and so i just gotta sacrifice not being up to date on all of the trends and the couple of seconds that i do go on tiktok or you know on youtube or on instagram i feel like i'm already up to date so you don't really have to spend your whole day scrolling on there to be up to date on things working on myself has been the best thing I have ever done. And if I can inspire you guys to do that too, you best believe I'm not gonna shut up about it because I want to spread this self-healing and I want everyone to radiate sunshine because we all deserve it. So I'm gonna be that annoying friend, sister, random girl, stranger that tells you that I am rooting for you and I want the best for you. So I'm not gonna shut up about it until I see so many people wanting the best for themselves, for themselves, not for anyone else, for themselves. Anyways, let's get to working out. So I am done with my workout and I am really hungry. Luckily, I had some leftover panda from yesterday, just some chicken and rice. Hopefully it tastes all right reheated. I'm not a huge fan of reheated rice, but we shall see. Well, it 
smells good. Let's try the rice first. Mm. It's not bad. It's not bad. We shall put the chicken to the test. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Not a huge fan of the chicken reheated. Surprising. I thought I was gonna like the reheated chicken more than the rice, but the rice is better. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my panda. And then in a little bit, I'm gonna pack because this weekend we're going to Mexico. So that shall be fun. Not sure what we're gonna do, but you know, I'm gonna bring you guys along with me as I always do. It is Ceci's birthday, so I know we're gonna go out to eat. But other than that, mm. 